Another important risk factor for atherosclerosis, which is not so well known, are the so-called advanced glycation end products, or short HEEs. These HEEs are harmful compounds that are formed when proteins and fats combine with sugar. This process is called glycation. It's about time that I'm also important. Yes, Asu, without you, HEAs wouldn't exist. HEEs are formed as a normal consequence of metabolism, but can also be absorbed from the diet. If high levels of HEEs are reached in our dishes and blood circulation, they become pathogenic. Foods with high levels of HEEs originate from animals, such as meat, certain cheeses, eggs, butter, etc. Especially fried foods and highly processed products contain very high levels of HEEs due to the dry heat and other processing treatments. In the context of cardiovascular diseases, HEEs can induce cross-linking of collagen, which causes vascular stiffening, and the entrapment of low-density lipoprotein particles, LDL, in our arterial walls. HEEs can also cause glycation of LDL, which can promote its oxidation. As we know, oxidized LDL is one of the major factors in the development of atherosclerosis. Finally, HEEs can bind to RAGE which means receptor for advanced glycation and products, and cause oxidation stresses as well as activation of inflammatory pathways in vascular endothelial cells, which further accelerates the pro process of atherosclerosis. HEEs are not only bad for our cardiovascular system, but also affect nearly every type of cell and molecule in the body, and are thought to be one factor in aging and age-related chronic diseases, such as diabetes, neurodegenerative Alzheimer's disease, the degeneration of the macula, and the formation of a cataract in our eyes, to name a few. Although LDL cholesterol is widely recognized as the main cause of atherosclerosis, after this video we should agree on the point that only LDL cholesterol does not tell us the whole story of atherosclerosis. Also other compounds such as oxidized fats, sugar molecules, and even calcium together with dead cells and scar tissue, can affect the plaque stability and lead to inflammation and further damage of blood vessels. In summary, a high-fat and high-sugar diet results not only in an increased cardiovascular disease risk, but also can accelerate our aging. That means for the healthy adult population, a low consumption of sugar and foods of animal origin and increased intake of plant-based foods, for example whole grains, fruits, vegetables, ligams and nuts are linked with a reduced risk of atherosclerosis. In the upcoming video, we will demonstrate a biomechanical test of an artery showing the influence of atherosclerosis on the stiffness of the arterial wall. See you and goodbye.